Can, if we're going to do sangria, let me tell you how it came to be. So we're playing this song. Everything we would do, we'd, 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 we'd be recording, and we'd drink a little sangria, and Jerry Jeff was making a big pot in a galvanized tub and cutting up apples and oranges and all this stuff, just like the song goes. And finally, it came down to so how are we going to do it, and we used to try to do something reggae no matter what. We would, we'd play a song, you know, and <clears throat> finally... Uh, we didn't know reggae. We didn't know what it was. And M Michael McGarry, the drummer, he said, oh, it's easy, Craig. You just do a little de -de 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 -de. And uh, Bob, you just play some de -de 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 -de. That's how it came to be, the song. <laughs> On a Saturday night, man, it's time to make up some sangria wine. It's organic and it comes from the vine, and it's legal and it gets you so high. And I love that sangria wine when I'm drinking with old friends of mine. I love that sangria wine. Starting with some apples and wine, put in some brandy and some sugar's fine. Old friends, they all roll up on time. That's where you add sparkling burgundy wine. And I love that sangria wine. Thank you. 
Is that pretty good? Don't you know what I love? 